Hey, what's up guys, Jakey here. Today I'm gonna to be going over all of my updated Valorant settings for 2024. So I'm gonna be going over all my in-game settings, window settings, and my monitor settings as well, uh, as well as my NVIDIA 3D settings. So let's get right into it. So starting off with the general tab, for enemy highlight color, I've always played on yellow. I just find that yellow is the best for me and I can spot enemies the easiest. So I play on yellow. Moving on to sensitivity, I'm currently on 0.3, which I've been on for the longest time now. 0.3 is my most used sensitivity, and I'm trying to stick on it. Um, if this ever changes, I will have it updated on my Twitch page. You can just go to my Twitch page and type exclamation point sends or sensitivity to get my latest sends. Moving down to scoped sensitivity multiplier, I leave this at 1, and I've always had this at 1. Same thing with ADS sensitivity multiplier also at one raw input buffer you want to make sure you turn this on especially if you're playing on higher polling rate on your mouse which i am so make sure you turn raw input buffer on especially if you're using a high polling rate mouse moving down to my minimap settings these are my minimap settings i really like them they give me a lot of information these are probably some of the best minimap settings in the game just because it lets you see the entire map so you want to have rotate and then you want to have keep player centered off and you want to have minimap size is per really personal preference, but I just leave it at 1. And then I do 0.9 to make sure that I can see the entire map. If you have this on 1, sometimes it cuts off the corners on some bigger maps. Everything else here is default. Scrolling down, this is all default. Down here, I make sure I turn mature content off. And this just pretty much is uh, corpses and blood. And I like turning this off because having corpses off minimizes the clutter on the ground and it can sometimes help. If you're playing Sage, it helps you pinpoint Sage reses a lot easier. Uh, but sometimes corpses can also block certain angles depending on if you're playing a headshot angle or not. So I like turning corp corpses off. And then for blood, I just prefer seeing the sparks instead of the blood. I find that the sparks is a little bit easier for me to spot rather than the blood. So that's why I just turn mature content off and that just turns off both those at the same time. Everything down here is default. Network buffering is set to minimum. Bullet tracers is on, which I believe is default. And everything down here, I don't really touch. All right, guys, moving on to the control tab. So I pretty much play with all of my abilities on the default. The only thing I really change in the controls is I use mouse wheel down to jump in equipment. So for aim down sights, I do toggle for all of these. Operator zoom, I do toggle. Operator zoom hold, I do toggle. I don't ever find myself using like the closer zoom. So for opping, I always just do toggle. And then auto re-enter scope, I have this set to on. And then scrolling down a little bit more, down here, I always make sure to turn on auto equip to strongest. And this just makes it so that if I'm tapping the spike or after I plant the spike, if I'm interacting with something, it will always pull out my strongest weapon first, which is typically my Vandal or Phantom. So I always make sure to have this on just in case I'm tapping the spike or whatever, it will make sure that I pull out my strongest weapon. And then don't auto equip melee as well. I have this checked. The only time that you should not have this set to strongest is if you're playing something like Yoru a lot, if you're a Yoru main, because if you're playing Yoru and you're ulted with a shorty and you want to come out of your ult, you don't want to pull out your Vandal, you want to pull out your shorty a lot of the time. So that's like the only situation where you might not want to set this to strongest. Going down further, the only thing I really change here is I change the spray to Z. And then I change my ping to T. And I believe by default these are reversed. But yeah, everything else is pretty much default. For my push to talk in game, I use V. And then for party, I use my side mouse button. And then everything else is default in the interface. Everything here, I don't touch. Okay, moving on to my crosshairs. All of my crosshairs can be found on my tracker.gg page, which I will link in the description below. You can get all of the codes there. And I have all of my crosshairs that I use on a day-to-day -day basis on my profile. So I'll leave a link to that in the description below if you want my crosshair. Moving on to the video tab, I play obviously on full screen for the least amount of input lag. And I play on 2560 by 1440. This is pretty recent because I did change my monitor recently. I did a monitor upgrade to an OLED panel, which I'll probably be making a video on uh, OLED for Valorant. And I've really had no issues playing on 1440p. It was a little bit weird at first like adapting to the 27 inch monitor and the higher resolution was definitely a little bit hard at first but I'll definitely go over that maybe in another video so far I've gotten used to it and I've had no issues with it so I play on native res aspect ratio method doesn't really matter if you're playing native by default it's just on letterbox as for max fps I limit my fps at 400 
my refresh rate is at 360 so i want to cap it above 360 so i just cap it at 400 nice even number there i don't leave my fps uncapped because i don't want my computer working too hard and also leaving it uncapped causes some instability so i always cap my fps and then for nvidia reflex low latency always make sure that you put this on either on plus boost or on but this will reduce input lag in game and make sure that your game is feeling the most responsive. Moving on to graphics quality, multi-threaded rendering, I always leave this on. Material quality, all these quality settings I turn to the lowest. Vignette, I turn off. V-Sync, obviously you want to make sure you turn V-Sync off. Anti-aliasing, I set to MSAA 2x. And then anisotropic filtering, I turn to 4x. These two settings will make your game look a little bit better, a little bit more smooth. And the anisotropic filtering just makes your skins look better. And I make sure to turn this on because I'm a content creator and I want my skins looking nice and clean. But if you don't care about having your game look a little bit nicer and you just want the max amount of FPS, then you can turn this to none and turn this to 1x. And then everything down here I just turn off for the highest performance. The only thing down here that I would maybe consider turning on is Bloom. Some people like to turn on Bloom because it makes Sova darts easier to spot. So if you have a hard time spotting Sova darts, then you can consider turning on Bloom. And in the stats, the only thing I display is my client FPS and my ping to text only. Moving on to the final audio tab here. When I play Valorant, I have the overall volume set to the highest, sound effects and voiceover, all three of these set to the highest, everything else I have muted. And then speaker configuration, I do stereo, and then enable HRTF, I turn this on. I always recommend turning on HRTF, it makes sounds easier to pinpoint and it just makes the game sound a lot better. So HRTF, I recommend turning on, but if you don't like it, obviously you can turn it off. And then the voice chat tab is all personal preference, as well as the voiceover tab. I have all of these checked, except for the last one here. But yeah, that's pretty much all of my in-game settings. Now let's move on to my Windows settings. Okay, so inside of Windows, the only thing I really do for Valorant is I disable enhanced pointer precision. This doesn't even really matter for Valorant because Valorant uses raw input, but I always make sure to disable it just if I play other games, go ahead and go into control panel, type mouse, click on change mouse settings, go to pointer options, and then uncheck enhance pointer precision, click apply, and then click OK. I also make sure to update all of my graphics drivers and my motherboard drivers as well. I go over all of this in my how to optimize Valorant video, so if you guys want to check that out, I will leave a link to that in the description below to help you guys improve your FPS. Okay, now let's go over my NVIDIA control panel settings. I leave most of this default for the adjust image settings with preview. I leave it default on let the 3D application decide, and then I don't touch anything in manage 3D settings. The only thing I really change here is I go to uh, adjust desktop size and position, and I put both mon my monitors on no scaling, and then I make sure that I'm on my highest refresh rate on my monitor, in my case, it's 360 hertz. And then if your monitor supports G-Sync, I recommend turning G-Sync off for Valorant. So I go down here to G-Sync and make sure that it's unchecked. And then that's all I really touch inside of the NVIDIA control panel. So the keyboard I'm currently using is still the Wooting 60HE, and these are my settings currently for my Wooting 60HE. I have the overall actuation set to 2.0, but on my WASD, I have it set to one millimeter. And then my rapid trigger is turned on for all of my keys at the lowest or highest sensitivity at 0.15 and i have tachyon mode enabled and i will leave a link to my wooting profile in the description below if you just want to copy it the mouse i'm currently using is the g pro super light 2 with the tiger ice v2 skates and i'm using that on an artisan zero soft xl for my g pro super light 2 i'm playing on 800 dpi and I'm playing on 2000 hertz polling rate. If you're curious as to why I don't play on 4000 hertz polling rate, I'll, I'll leave a very nice video by Optimum Tech in the description below where he goes over why playing on anything above 2000 hertz is really pointless. And as always, if you guys are curious about any other gear that I use, you can go to my Twitch page and type the command. So if you guys want to know what IEMs I'm using, you can just type exclamation point IEM uh, and vice versa for any other type of gear that you want to know. You can just go to my Twitch page and there's typically going to be a command for it. All right, guys, finally, let's go over my monitor settings. This is the Alienware AW2725DF. This is an OLED 360 Hertz panel QHD. So let's go over my monitor settings for this monitor for Valorant. So for the preset mode, I have it set to standard. Game enhance, I have off. I don't use dark stabilizer at all. And then going down to brightness and contrast, I have 90% brightness, 75% contrast. Um, and then everything else doesn't really matter here. Sharpness, I have default at 50%. And then HDR, I don't use for Valorant. 
I only use HDR if I'm like watching HDR movies or I'm playing a single player game that supports HDR. But other than that, I don't use HDR when I'm playing Valorant. And then nothing else here really matters too much. But yeah, very basic. I love this monitor. The settings are very, very basic to set up. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have there. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Those were all of my updated settings for Valorant 2024. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if it helps you out, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.